Chapter 2, The Cell, A Room in God's House. The cell is the basic structural and functional unit of all living organisms, for it performs the fundamental processes of life and is often called the building block of life. And the human body is composed of billions of individual cells, and each cell is created with an individual function and is integrated into making the body into a whole. And the cell is the basic unit of all living men, and each man is integrated into serving mankind as a whole. For each man was created to serve mankind's body, and each man must function and do his own part. For if the whole body were an eye, where would the hearing be? But now God has placed the members each one of them in the body, just as he desired. If they all were all one member, where would the body be? But now there are many members, but one body. 1 Corinthians 12 and 17 And each cell was produced from the first cell, and each man was produced by the Creator, who is God. For he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth, having determined their appointed times and the boundaries of their habitation, that they would see God, if perhaps they might grope for him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us, for in him we live and move and exist as even some of your poets have said, for we also are his children. Acts 17 and 26. Cell is derived from the Latin word cella, which means small room. And the descriptive term for the smallest living biologic structure was coined by Robert Hooke when he compared the cork cells he saw through his microscope to the small rooms that monks lived in. And each man must prepare his own room. For as the son taught, each man's room would be rewarded by his father in heaven. When you pray, go into your inner room, close your door and pray to your father who is in secret. And your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Matthew 6 and 6. And his children have filled up their rooms with God's treasures, which is the richness of his truth. For by knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Proverbs 24 and 4. And each man was warned not to curse in his room, for each room is seen by the king. Ecclesiastes 10 and 20. And though their rooms dwell in the dark, on that day each man's room shall be in the light. Accordingly, whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered in the inner rooms will be proclaimed upon the housetops. Luke 12 and 3. And the first temple of God was built with many rooms. For David gave his son Solomon the plan of a porch of the temple, its buildings, its storehouses, its upper rooms, its inner rooms, and the room for the mercy seat, and the plan of all that he had in mind for the courts of the house of the Lord and for all the surrounding rooms. First Chronicles 28 and 11. And the rooms were overlaid with the beauty of God's gifts. Second Chronicles 3 and 4. And when the rooms fell into neglect and decay, his people prepared the rooms for their offerings. Second Chronicles 31 and 11. And the rooms were prepared for that day, for when the cells are bound together, they form one body, and when the rooms are joined together, they form one house. And we as his saints are held in one house. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and are of God's household. 
Ephesians 2 and 19. And the house of the Lord has many rooms, for in his house are many dwelling places, and each man room is built on his merit. Do not let your heart be troubled and believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many dwelling places. John 14 and 1. And whoever leaves his house on the earth shall inherit great treasures in God's kingdom. Truly I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or farms for my sake and for the gospel's sake, but that he will receive a hundred times as much now in the present age and in the age to come eternal life. Mark 10 and 29. For our house is not built on the sand of the earth, but is built on the rock who is God. For as the Lord said, Everyone who comes to me and hears my words and acts on them, I will show you whom he is like. He is like a man building a house, who dug deep and laid a foundation on the rock. And when a flood occurred, the turn burst against that house and could not shake it, because it had been well built. Luke 6 and 47. But all cells have the potential to produce and destroy. For the cell of an embryo can promise new life, but the cell of malignancy can kill a man's life. For each man has the potential to produce and destroy. And we have spread the promise of this word. And we have produced the fruits of the Spirit. And the works of the Spirit make us room for our place before God. For a man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. Proverbs 18 and 16. And many have destroyed and built works of injustice. Jeremiah 22 and 13. And many have worshipped false idols and believed that God's vision is blind. Ezekiel 8 and 12. And now for their many iniquities, the people must pay for their sins. Isaiah 26 and 20. And the night before he was crucified, the Lord prepared a meal for us all. Luke 22 and 11. And many were invited to his banquet, but few men have entered his chamber. For his servants have invited the gifts. Master, what you have commanded has been done, and still there is room. And the master said to the slave, Go out into the highways and along the hedges, and compel them to come in, so that my house may be filled. But on that day few men shall eat at his table. For I tell you, none of those men who were invited shall taste of my dinner. Luke 14 and 22. And soon that day comes when the temple shall be complete. Let your hands be strong, you who are listening in these days, to these words from the mouth of the prophets, those who spoke in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts was laid, to the end that the temple might be built. Zechariah 8 and 9. 